Nintendo has finally added folders to the Switch, kind of. What's up everybody, my name is Noble and today I'm going to give you all the information that you need in order to make folders or what Nintendo is calling groups on the Switch. If you find this video helpful, please click the sub button so I can keep you guys up to date with our latest tutorials. Now first, I think we should start off with everything that you need to know about Nintendo Switch folders, or as I just mentioned, groups in this case, that's what Nintendo calls them. All right, so groups are going to be located in the all software area of your Switch, which is located at the far right of your home screen. Now, unfortunately, these groups can only live in the all software area, meaning that you can't pin them or add them to your home screen. And I kind of feel like that defeats the purpose, but at the same time, the home screen is meant for your most recently played game, so it does kind of make sense. After you get to the all software area of your games, you can press the left button to jump into and create your own groups. Pressing the plus button from here allows you to create your first group. And once you've made a few groups, you can also press the Y button from the same area to sort your grouping order. Now, whenever you're creating a group, you can add any games that you want to the group. And an important note, if you want, you can create up to 100 groups and each group can contain up to 200 game titles in each one which I think is a little bit of an overkill in my opinion, but it's still good information to know. I'd also like to know if anybody does have 200 games on their Switch, let me know in the comments because I feel like I that just seems ridiculous. I'm not sure that there's 200 games that I have and I play a lot of games. If you want, you can add the same game to multiple groups. And that's pretty much all the information that you need to know about groups themselves on the Switch. All right, so now let's go ahead and just make a quick group so that you guys get an idea of how it works. All right, you guys, here we are on the Switch. Uh, we're gonna make this as quick as possible so that we can get you on your way. So like I said, you just need to go all the way over to the right to your all software area. Now, of course, this is on the update 14.0. Forgot to mention that, you guys should know that. If you haven't updated your Switch yet, make sure that you do that. But at the top right of the screen, if you press the left button, you can see groups. And you guys can see I've already created a couple of ones here. Uh, I'm just gonna make a new one really quick. All you gotta do is press the plus button. And then from here, uh, choose whatever games you want. Uh, I'm not actually sure because I think I've got everything that I need right now. But uh, why not make something with uh, Zelda? All right, let's do some Zelda stuff. We got Cadence of Hyrule here. Uh, I know I've got some other Zelda games. I just haven't played them in a while. Here we go. Link's Awakening and Breath of the Wild. Let's do that. You press start or not start, but the plus button. Damn you, Nintendo, why don't you just have regular buttons? You press the plus button to go to next. And uh, if you want, you can arrange the software titles in the order that you want them to be displayed. I did forget to mention this as well. Uh, if uh, So the biggest tile is going to be the one that you have to the furthest left. So I'm gonna move uh, Breath of the Wild here to the left and then press plus to do next. And then we're gonna name it. And then press plus button again to hit okay. And there is your brand new group. Very, very simple. Again, if you press Y from here, you can sort your groups. So if I wanted this to be up top, we can do that or just move them around in which way you want. Uh, I play a lot of indies, so that's probably gonna be first for me. Uh, after that, Nintendo. Uh, I don't really use Switch Online that much, but let's do, uh, actually multiplayer games can stay there. And actually, if we press save here, you can also, jump into a group because I totally forgot about one thing. We're gonna jump into multiplayer here. If you press the right bumper, edit group, we're going to add more software. Uh, Splatoon should definitely be in there. That's a multiplayer game. Boom, save. All right, so there we go. We got multiplayer game and we have our groups. Now, unfortunately, again, you cannot add them to your home screen. Again, the home screen is meant for the most recently played games that you've been enjoying. But if you are looking for your other games, it's really nice to have the groups there since you already know where your groups are and what games you've put in there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. And as always, we'll see you guys next time.